guys to be better for the full 48 minutes. What do you want to see from this group kind of early on in this game? <clears throat> Just make sure we come out ready to play on defensive end. I think uh, last game we started off okay, but then we kind of got too cool. So now you can't afford to do that. Too many great players, they got you know, great offense that they've been running for years. If you make mistakes, you'll get hurt. Russell, what has Jeremy Grant brought to those late game lineups for you all take this year? Uh, been able to switch, man. Been able to switch one through five, man. His size, his ability to protect the basket, his shot block is huge for us. Um, his length, rebounding, I mean, a lot of different things that he's doing to change the game. Russ, I know you got asked about rest last week, but is it a goal of yours to play all 82 games each year? Um, it's just a goal to play if I'm healthy, man. I think, um, like I said before, I, I've never take this game for granted to come out every night and be able to compete at a high level. Um, if I'm asked to sit down or asked to rest, it's, I want it to be my decision if I want to rest or not. And, you know, until I feel that way, then I'm going to play as long as I'm able to play. Russell, where are you in developing an encore chemistry with Taj? Where are you guys in the process? Uh, we just take it day by day, man. I try to make it easy for him. Uh, still figuring things out. Uh, still finding ways to Get him easy shots, easy post ups, um, and that's just a process we're going to constantly keep working at. He's alongside Steven. Can you use him in a similar way as you do with Dennis in terms of the pick and pop while Steven's rolling? Uh, it depends. It all depends. Different players. Uh, we just got to find where he likes the ball and kind of where he feels comfortable. Russell, many people have you and James Harden as the front runners for the MVP now going down the stretch. What has it been like to experience that with a guy that you've been friends with so long? Uh, I mean, just a. It's obviously an amazing honor to be, you know, even mentioned in that race. But to, to see, especially two people from California, from Los Angeles, is great. Um, you know, it shows that guys growing up in the inner city of Los Angeles can make it and, you know, be, be something. I think that's the bigger picture, not just MVP, but be able to make it out, you know, where, where we grew up from and, and be here in the NBA and now be on the stage where, you know, people talking about MVP. And um, I just think that's a blessing and something that, you know, we can both honor. What's the level of communication between you and James during the season? Is, did you guys talk, or is it just basically? No, something? no, no. We, I, mean, we, we, I text from time to time. He texts from time to time on birthdays and random stuff, but not, not a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I let him do his thing. He let me do my thing. And you know, after a weekend, I had a chance to catch up a little bit, but uh, not a lot of communication. You ever check his box scores after games or anything like that? Uh, sometimes, but not. I check and see one. Sometimes I check to see one game because I don't watch a lot of. So I just try to see one. And, Everything of that nature. <clears throat> Speaking of the MVP race, another MVP candidate, Kawhi Leonard, is going up against tonight. What stands out to you about this game? Well, Kawhi continues to get better. He's trying to find ways to come back better each and every year. He's been in the league. That's the most impressive thing to me. Um, and obviously, he does it real quiet because he doesn't say much. Uh, but he definitely comes out and competes uh, at a high level, and that's what impresses me the most. Going into the playoffs, where are you in that process now with eight to play? Say it again. Uh, season ago, you guys seem to be at optimum, really operating at a high level going into the playoffs. Where are you in that process now with eight to play? We're getting there. We're getting there, man. I think we, we see what we can do it, but we just got to put a whole game and two games together uh, in the run to be able to do it. Uh,